Oh, the ships popping everywhere on their side, and it's like they're going down, boy. <laughs> it was like ten. It was like damn, they're just dropping. I hit the wrong tab in my overview, and I just saw a field of like red and gold. I was like, oh shit! I just saw DPS start on other targets, and I got worried. It's like, oh god. We celebrated a victory, but as we're about to see, trouble and conflict were about to come to Patchwork Store. We'll turn back time a bit and take a look at these events. Firstly, the two Athenors we put down under the name of Heldon were about to be attacked by the Sons of Salem. They introduced themselves as being somewhat friendly or content driven, they just wanted a fun fight by hitting our timer. But as we will explore more throughout the story, we'll find out that their true intentions were darker or more dishonorable. Yeah, you don't die anymore. Whoa, okay, we'll just plus stop. I'm gonna get dusted. Everyone aligned to the citadel, everyone aligned to the citadel, aligned to the citadel. Bella now is out of this group. Bella, work to the fleet, buddy. Everyone approach the citadel. Select the spot, approach it. Alright. Anchor up on entropy fast, 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 fast. Primary will be Augur of Nexus. I'm 
We won the fight and everyone was really happy and that's when the Sansa Salian turned and I want to explain something, I have no problem against Sinos or capital ships, those are valid tactics to use. However, they have approached me and said that they want a sub-capital fight, something fun, something small. And after the first timer that we had, they constantly sino camped us and dropped blobs and uh, apostles and other capitals on us. They even lost what I believe is a citadel in a wormhole I never visited and before it got lost they transferred all the items to me unwillingly to my corporate hangars in which case I was receiving a lot of lost mails without really understanding what was going on. But I think one of the more sadder parts was the way they constantly trash talked me and a lot of my uh, alliance members. I'm used to getting a lot of trash talk in the game, but this seems something else. I don't know if they were influenced by Free Folks or Shadow Cartel or any other of the kind of a coalition forming against Entropy and Patchwork. Who can tell? The only thing certain it was that it was an attempt to destabilize and destroy the Alliance. Heldon came to assist us on the final timer as it were their Athenor so to speak, but we were not in the same fleet or on the voice comms due to miscommunication, let's say. Held on, we're using a armor hurricane artillery composition and we were using a shield, kiting, caracal, moa type composition. While Sons of Salem bridged through a titan and they brought typhoons and I think an apostle for reps. Held on took the fight on the gate, I think to prevent them from reaching the Athenor.
the base was lost and the assault continued after that. They Sino dropped us a few times and we did have a few fights, but slowly their interest started to fade. The impact of their actions however was felt. It has put us in a spotlight in New Eden and made us a target. A group called Hollow Point who had connections to Heldon as well as my co-leader Dwarth started making his moves. He previously tried to live in this pocket with us but I believe that the leader was unreasonable and eventually we cut ties. So they joined Heldon in an attempt to sabotage our relationship which they succeeded and I'm gonna give the CEO some slack as I understand he had some issues to deal with but they did end up breaking blue and some Heldon members started attacking uh, Patchwork. Heldon did not address this and my co-leader Dwarth seeing as we were becoming the weaker force decided to jump boat and get out of the alliance as well as take a few members alongside with them and support Heldon and Hollow Point. As you can imagine by now, they didn't shy away from trash talking or spamming me or sending all sorts of insults, even uh, real life remarks. Especially pointing out how Dwarth took a lot of the members that were loyal to him and that I'm on a failing alliance leader. Hollow Point came to our pocket and tried assaulting us in a number of occasions. I've even considered that that was the plan all along uh, for Dwarth and Hollow Point. If they couldn't live with us, they would try to take it by force. But we were not dead yet, and you know what they say, leave one wolf alive and the sheep are never safe.
the aftermath was that because of the drama caused internally by Hollow Point, as well as other issues Heldon was facing, they eventually collapsed and dissolved. Hollow Point left without his primary ally and pillaged by some witty fox character. They also went down with activity, although still remaining in the same corporation. Oddly enough, even Pirate Lords or Sons of Salem reformed under a different banner. And we had our very own character that was removed from the Alliance for not being appropriate, let's say, and decided to run his own vengeful campaign. He called it Operation Snake Hunter. He posted on the EVE forums uh, trying to rally people against me and Dwarth, accusing us of taking huge bribes like 50 billion to hand over our Alliance into the hands of the enemies. I found this amusing, so with the help of our friends from Riot, we took down his citadel in High Sector and I believe he left our region of space. Quite a funny character. On my personal wish list, I always wanted to kill a rare ship in EVE and I had that opportunity outside the Dixie, a Hematos rookie ship, which is considered a rare ship, uh, was just sitting there firing fireworks, so I decided to suicide gank it. It's a bit cheeky, but it was on my to-do list. Many things actually ended up being on my to-do list. A Korean group that I was doing business with decided to break our blue treaty, and uh, I paid them a visit, harassing them in high sector, trying to make them go suspect, and basically poke them until they left the area. It felt almost like a coalition was formed between our enemies. I don't know how tightly they collaborated, but I believe they had us or me as the target, mentioning Free Folks, Shadow Cartel, Pirate Lords, and so on. And even if defeating the opponent head on didn't seem much like an option, maybe just outlasting and standing our ground would be the better strategy in the end. Free Folks, who are our longtime enemy, I believe in this time we're enticing Shadow Cartel to drop us, trying to coordinate this to create as much pressure as possible. We responded by counter dropping uh, them with catalysts and cheap high DPS ships, uh, eventually killing their Sino but not quite killing one of the marshals. Though I think the impact was there, the threat that we would strike back one of their uh, Sino drops, I think deterred them for a while. Other fights were had with solo PvPers or small groups that would incur upon our pocket. And even if the death toll was rising, we remained a strong, united group focused on PvP. All the different ways our opponents showed aggression towards us and towards me personally, I guess it's a way that we can view honor. What is honorable to me may not be honorable to the next person. And it's not to say that a capsuleer should be honorable just within certain limits I guess. And even though it's great that we survived, I can now turn my attention towards the conflict that was always there with Free Folks, as well as my desire for adventuring. As for the leader of Free Folks, Serena, who's always been lurking in the shadows, go throw your sticks and your stones. Right here at my iron bones Cause I'm taking more than you know And you cannot break me or shake me down Go on, take a stab at my heart Sharpen all the knives you got Cause I'm bulletproof from a shot And you won't escape me or fake me out I'm ready, ready I'm ready for ya I'm ready, yeah. Cause I'm feeling Turning the favor, not paying. I know you thought. 